Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a different kind of video that is not unboxing or product review. Today I want to chat about the topic of Chanel versus Hermes. A lot of people are talking about how should we choose about the two brands and because the crazy price increase of Chanel that everybody should move on to Hermes. So I want to share with you my thinking and why it really doesn't matter. So make sure you stay until the very end to hear all my thoughts and comments. If this is the first time to my channel, hi, my name is Jin. I talk about how to mix and match luxury items in order to achieve an elegant and classic look. If you like this kind of content, make sure that you hit subscribe, like, and comment. Now let's get started. Okay, the topic of Chanel versus Hermes. To be very honest, I'm quite annoyed by this topic because I don't think there should be a sort of tension between Chanel versus Hermes because they are very different brands. For me, Chanel, it's my always go-to brand. It's, it is my favorite brand because it really represents my lifestyle, my athletics, and my dreams. Because I think the Chanel women really are independent, they're edgy, they are classic, but they're also feminine. And I think there is this multifaceted of a Chanel woman that really fascinates me. For a Chanel woman, you can dress up or you can dress down. You can wear something like a t-shirt and jeans. Well, you can also wear a little black dress and both look can represent a Chanel woman. That's really what I like about Chanel. And I think for every collection, they have a lot of different style and inspired by different themes. And I think back in the day, while Carl Lagerfeld was still the creative director, you can see his fashion show were really held at different places around the world with different themes and different design, different color palette, and every collection was so special and unique. And right now, with the new creative director, I'm not saying that I don't like her design, but I think it's getting a bit more quiet and less excited than before. Nonetheless, I still love Chanel as a brand, and I'm not just buying their handbags, I'm also buying their accessories, custom jewelry, I'm not buying the fine jewelry yet, but I'm definitely um, buying their ready to wear. For example, their jackets, etc. So I love Chanel as a brand. And I think the athletic and the Chanel woman that it represents really, really suits my own style. Whereas for MS, if you asked me a few years ago, I wasn't so excited about MS. And the only reason I would be excited about MS was because every one of my friends was buying MS. My friends were even saying, the price increase of Chanel is crazy. Why are you still buying Chanel? Why don't you just buy Hermes bag? And to be fair, I could have used my money of Chanel bags onto Hermes bags as well or other Hermes products, but I didn't because I still love Chanel. And I don't really care what my friends say or what anybody was buying. I just wanted to buy whatever I want. But right now, the reason I'm buying less Chanel is because with time, I have collected quite a lot of items. For example, my Chanel handbag collection has all the classic items that I really, really want, like the classic flat bag and also the 2.55 bags, which is the weight issue bags. And I also have a couple of seasonal bags, um, 22 bags, and also a Deauville toe. I think I have enough Chanel bags, that's what I mean. And I think I have internal quantity. I think that's really a lot as well. So I really don't need more Chanel bags. And I think for the way to wear, I own quite some Chanel jackets as well. I haven't found any other tops or trousers from the way to wear collection from Chanel that I really like. So I'm really not buying those. And I don't really buy a lot of custom jewelry either. I have a couple of pair of earrings from Chanel, then I think that's more than enough. So that's why I'm buying less Chanel now. And of course, I don't really like the price increase going on, but I'm very fortunate that I have already bought all the bags that I wanted before the crazy price increase. I mean, I still bought it after the price increase, but not at the most recent price increase. One thing I want to mention is that the recent Chanel quality issue really annoys me. I'm fortunate that I think I came across a couple of times with minor quality issue. I think there was one time with um, one of my mini micro bag of Chanel with the stitching coming off and I went to the store and exchanged for a new one. So I was lucky to be able to exchange immediately. I was very lucky that it got soft. Um, otherwise, I doubt if I would keep buying Chanel at that time. So yes, the quality issue really annoys me and I think the same have not been seen with 
MS at all. I inspect all the stitching because of the stitching issue with Chanel. So every time I bought an MS bag, I would inspect all the stitching and the stitches are just perfect. So there's something that I truly, truly admire about MS is you truly, truly pay for what it's worth. Whereas for Chanel, I do feel like sometimes I'm really just buying the brand. Though I really, really love the brand, but I would also love that the ridiculously high price that I'm paying for for Chanel would also reflect in its quality as well. But that is not the case. But I'm very fortunate that before the quality issue really go crazy, but I already bought all my wish list items from Chanel. So I didn't really have to think about it. But that said, if you're just starting your Chanel journey, that might be something that you should really think about. So for MS, a few years ago, I wasn't really into MS. I guess also because their style, it's a bit more sophisticated and a bit more mature. So I think with time and as I get older, I tend to appreciate the MS style more and more. And I think the fact that MS offers a wide range of lifestyle products, not just you know, fashion and accessory and fine jewelry, but also home goods and stationery for the bath and for the beach, anything you can think of, they also offer that. And I think it also adds to the variety of choices that you can enjoy when you want to have this luxury experience at one luxury house. It's not just about fashion, but it's about your entire lifestyle. And that's what I really like about MS. That said, I still own more Chanel items than MS. And I'm not going to sell all my Chanel items just so that I can fund to buy for MS item. I like certain MS items that I think Chanel cannot achieve. For example, I like the MS scarf. I think they're really pretty, especially the cashmere scarf. I like some of the bags, but not all. I'm not just buying MS bags just because they're MS bags. I don't like all the MS bag style, but I really certainly love some of them. For example, I truly, truly enjoy the Kelly bag. I think the Mindelin is also nice. I like certain things as MS and I like certain things as Chanel and they are so different. They're really so different and I can enjoy both, right? The only reason I'm not buying that much Chanel now is because I already own quite a lot of things and I feel like I can truly enjoy my collection without having to always think about buying more and more. Whereas for MS, I think I really like certain stuff, but I don't also want to, in order to get the bags and buying something that I don't want. So if I would buy something at MS, I make sure that I really, really like them, that I will use it. I'm not gonna just buy something and resell it so that I can uh, accumulate a quota for my quota bag. And I'm in no rush to get any quota bag either. If I can get two quota bags a year, so what? Does this mean that in five years, I'm going to get 10 quarterbacks? And by the way, every quarterback costs so much, I'm not going to spend all my money on quarterback either. So I think we have to be a bit more rational when it comes to shopping at both Chanel or MS. And it's not one way or the other. It's really about, first of all, what you really need. And second, what you really enjoy as a brand. And third, whether it fits your lifestyle and your style athletics. And I think if you, if you check all the boxes, it doesn't matter which brand, you can buy whatever you want. That said, I'm gonna do a bit more MS unboxing only because I haven't done any. So I thought it might be something new for you guys because you have been seeing my Chanel unboxing and review. So there might be something different that I thought you might enjoy. But if you wanna watch something else, please make sure that you leave your comment down below so I can look at your feedback. What is your view on that? Are you buying less Chanel now because of the price increase and you're shifting to MS? Or you have been buying MS all the time because of how the things can keep their value? Let me know your comment down below. That's it for my video today. See you guys next time. Bye!